Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about how we can have alternative colors in our Kestro reports. So this is a very simple report that I have. This is the column heading and this is the uh, the detail of the uh, of the report and this is the report footer and this is the page footer. Alright, I'm going to quickly go ahead and run this report and uh, I'm going to be showing you what I will be doing in this report. So as you can see, this is a very plain simple report. It has uh, the details and this is the uh, the report heading and this is the uh, this is the column heading and this is the report heading right here. Okay, so what you want to do here is uh, have alternative colors in the rows. Okay, I mean, you know, it's sometimes hard to read the uh, the row or the product name here. So we will, we will be adding alternative colors into, uh, into our report. So I'll close this down and uh, what we are going to be working with is called the section expert because we are we are interested with the uh, section that is the detail I will uh, go to the KISS reports menu and if I go to the uh, report sub menu I will find the section expert and here I can choose report header, page header or detail. We are interested with the detail section and we need to change the color. So we will go to the colors tab and I'll use a formula. The current background color is set to white. That's why when we ran the report the background color was white. And uh, what we want is uh, we would like to have alternative colors in the row. So I have uh, a formula in my clipboard. I'm just going to hit Control V to paste it right here. And it's using the mod function that gives us the remainder. So it says uh, for every other, for every second row, uh, change the color to silver. And for the all remaining, just, you know, just uh, apply no color to that. We'll uh, test for the errors. If there are no errors, the formula uh, the formula seems to be good. There are no syntax errors, so and we have checked it. We'll just hit save and close. The formula has been saved, and as you can see, the color of this button has been changed to red, which indicates that there is a formula associated with this uh, with this property. I'll just hit OK. I'll hit save, and now I will run the report one more time to see if we get the desired result. There you go. Now we have the color applied to the alternative rows. Now it is little easier to read than before. Well of course if you don't like the silver color you can always go to the formula and change the color from silver to whatever you desire. So uh, that's how simple it is. It's just a one line formula that you can uh, use. If I go to the next page and uh, this is how it appears and this is the end of the report. So that's how easy it is to apply alternative colors in the rows of your report. I hope you liked it. Please leave your comments down below. If you uh, liked it, please do subscribe to my channel as I'll be making and uploading a few more videos down the line. Thank you and you have yourself a good day.